Sheila here with the Point of View Concepts 360 Virtual Gallery. The POVC 360 Virtual Gallery is a 10K resolution, replacement-based Photoshop template created to make placement of artwork in a virtual gallery as easy as possible. All of the scaling and perspective shaping has been done for you. Simply import your own artwork, update the pano, and export to JPEG. The POVC Virtual Gallery was designed to give you many options, including a lobby, a virtual hostess with three different poses, speech bubbles for the virtual hostess, a lobby banner, up to 15 3D canvas artworks per gallery. This number is unlimited by linking multiple galleries together corresponding 3D brass plaques for simple information and credits. Two darkened video rooms with marquees at the entrance. Camera placement markers you can use to help place your hotspots to ensure they match exactly the point of view for each panorama. Custom hotspots that are scaled and shaped perfectly and hide behind objects when needed. Wireframe perspective guides to help you place your own artworks as you see fit. And future add-ons will be made available that will include more host and hostess options, more artwork frames, and more. There are 55 total files included in four folders. The Pano PSD folder holds the individual Photoshop templates for each panorama. The Artwork PSD folder holds the individual Photoshop templates for each artwork. The Info PSD folder holds the individual Photoshop templates for the 3D brass info plaques. And the Other folder holds the Photoshop templates for the banner, speech bubbles, desk logo, and the floor plan. Customizing the panoramas. Structure. Each Pano PSD consists of layers that can be turned on or off, giving you multiple options. The most important layers here are the artwork layers, which consist of linked smart objects. These are pre-placed and shaped for you, so you don't have to worry about your artwork being distorted. We will change these images in the artwork PSD folder. Turning on and off. Throughout this tutorial, you will be instructed to turn things on or off. This is accomplished by clicking the eye icon on the layer to see or hide the layer's contents. Note, you may receive an error message. Could not edit original smart object because the layer is locked. This is normal. The layers are locked to prevent moving the layer within the image. Artwork PSD. These are the Photoshop templates you will use to change your artwork. Notice that the images are not distorted and there is no need to shape them. There are two color-coded layers, a red folder that contains the temporary artwork graphic and a guide to help you position your artwork within the frame. These frames are either 16 by 9 landscape or 9 by 16 portrait. The second orange folder is the background that you will place your own artwork above. First, you will place your artwork. There are two choices for placing your artwork. Place Embedded will place a copy of your artwork into the Photoshop template. Place Linked will place a link of your original artwork file into the template. If you plan to make changes to your original artwork later, choose Place Linked and it will update in the Photoshop template. If not, choose Place Embedded. Turn off the red folder layer. If you want to use the guide for placement, leave the red folder on, then open the red folder layer using the drop caret. Turn off the text layer and turn off the color overlay. Select the bottom orange layer. Go to the top menu and select File, Place, your choice. Choose the file you want to place into the template. Resize and position your artwork into the frame. Select the check mark at the top of the screen to commit your changes. Close the Artwork PSD template file by clicking the X on the tab. 
You will see a warning asking if you want to save your changes before closing. Select Yes. Do not save to a different location or change the name. Follow these steps for all of the artwork image PSD files. Info PSD. The POVC360 Virtual Gallery also comes with 3D brass info plaques to display basic information, such as title, artist, credits, or any other textual information you want. It is designed to look like an engraving. If you choose to use the info plaques, they are named and numbered to properly correspond to the artwork it is placed next to. Open the Artwork Info PSD file. Highlight each layer and replace the text. Close and save the PSD file. Lobby. The lobby is the showpiece of the virtual gallery. It was designed to be a starting point of the virtual tour and to not show too much of the gallery until entered. This makes an ideal opportunity for a payment portal, password wall, registration to enter, etc. Customizing the lobby. Banner. First is to change the banner located above the desk. Open the Reception Banner PSD file. Select and replace the items in the green layers. If desired, turn on the background layer. Double-click the blue square to change the color. Close and save the PSD file. Lobby Panorama. The Pano Lobby PSD file contains the remaining customizable options. The Pano Lobby PSD file contains the following. Gold Hostess folder. Gray Wireframes folder. Green Banner folder. Orange Artwork Info folder. Purple Artworks. Blue Lobby layer. Background. Hostess. The hostess comes in three poses, neutral center, left, and right. These hold both the main hostess image and the window reflection images. To choose a hostess pose, turn on or off these folders. Wireframes. The wireframe folder contains a grid that can be used as a perspective guide to place your own artwork. Turn on this folder to activate the grid. Banner, Artwork Info, and Artwork. To update Banner, Artwork Info plaques, and Artwork with the changes you made earlier, select any layer. Right-click. Select Update All Modified Content. All contents should automatically update, including the banner, brass plaques, and artworks in both the main image and the reflections in the window. Note, notice that there is no layer for the speech bubbles. It is recommended that you export the speech bubbles separately from the panoramas and insert them as picture hotspots in 3D Vista Pro. Export final panorama. Once your changes have been made, you can export the final panorama image. Select from the top menu, File, Export, Export As. In the file settings, select JPEG as the format. Click the export button at the bottom. Save or don't save Pano Lobby PSD file. You can now close the Pano Lobby PSD file. You can choose either to save your changes or not to. I recommend not to so that the PSD file is available fresh for the next virtual gallery you create. The remaining panoramas. The remaining panoramas are updated and saved just like the Pano Lobby PSD file. 
They have additional special layer options to help you in the accurate placement of hotspots and linking the panoramas together. In this example, we will go through the options and steps for the Pano Entrance Left PSD file. However, the following instructions work for all the remaining Pano PSD files. Note, if you get a warning that Photoshop cannot locate linked assets, this is because the files have either been moved or renamed. You can relink these by clicking the Relink button and choosing the location of the files. Open the Pano Entrance Left PSD file. This is the view as you enter the gallery on the left side of the reception desk and overlooking the main gallery. There are six layers. Gray hotspots. Gray camera placements. Gray wireframe. Orange artwork info. Purple artworks. Blue entrance left. The Hotspots layer contains accurately placed hotspot circle icons that are scaled and shaped depending on the location and distance from the panorama point of view. In addition, these hotspots are visually more accurate as portions of them are not visible if hidden behind an object. If you choose to use them, you could turn them on and adjust the transparency by adjusting the opacity in the Layer Options panel. The camera placement layer contains accurately placed black dots that represent the center point of view of the remaining panoramas. To use these, make sure they are turned on when you export your final panorama. You will then see these in 3D Vista Pro and can place your own hotspot icons directly on top of the dots. If you choose hotspot icons that are transparent or show the black dots, simply place your icons, return to the PSD file, and turn off the dots and re-export your final panorama. Inside 3D Vista, replace that panorama with the new one without the dots. The wireframes layer contains a grid that can be used as a perspective guide to place your own artwork. Turn on this layer to activate the grid. Artwork info and artwork. To update artwork info plaques and artwork with the changes you made earlier, select any layer. Right click. Select Update All Modified Content. All contents should automatically update. Export the final panorama as shown earlier. That's it! Follow these steps to update and export the remaining Pano PSD files and import them into 3D Vista.